Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So before we get started with this tutorial, I need to make it 100% clear to you guys, for your sake, for my sake, and for YouTube's sake, that monitoring someone's phone and installing any software that does that without their consent is illegal and unethical. This video is for educational purposes only, and you should always use such software responsibly and very, very importantly, within the bounds of the law, such as parental control or monitoring company devices with the knowledge and consent of the employees. Okay, with that said, I'll be showing you how you can monitor WhatsApp conversations with mSpy. We'll go step by step on how to download and install mSpy and how to easily monitor WhatsApp chats. And just to be upfront, I'm an affiliate of pretty much all the companies that I review, including mSpy, but my recommendations wouldn't mean much if I didn't give you my honest opinion. And if at any point you decide to try mSpy, you can use the affiliate links that are down in the description below. They don't cost you anything and you get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went right to mSpy's website. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, in order to monitor WhatsApp messages on the target device, you're gonna need to sign up for an account pick a subscription plan and install the app of course once you've installed the app log into your account using any browser and navigate to the whatsapp bar that you'll find on the left side of the dashboard press on it to view all the whatsapp conversations and related media okay so you can install mspy in two different ways depending on the operating system of the device that you're trying to monitor if you're doing it on an android device you need to download and install the apk file and i'll show you how to do that in a bit now if you're going to do it on an iOS device like an Apple phone, then you, there are two different methods depending on whether the phone is jailbroken or not. And with that being said, let's start with the Android installation. Again, this video is for educational purposes only, and you should always use such software responsibly and within the bounds of the law, such as parental control or monitoring company devices with consent. I have to repeat myself for the sake of YouTube. It should be 100% clear, like I mentioned before, that it's illegal to install any software on another adult's phone without their knowledge. Now with that out of the way, again, the first thing that you need to do is disable the play protect feature. To do that, go to the Google Play Store, tap the three dots in the upper right corner, Press on play protect, tap the settings button in the upper right corner and untick scan with play protect. Once that's disabled, you also need to disable the Google Play Store notifications. To do that, you need to go to the target phone's settings, apps, Google Play Store, and untick show notifications. After that, open your web browser and go to the link appearing on the screen for video editing only. Then you need to pass the CAPTCHA verification to start downloading the app. According to mSpy, the app is called Update Service for Legal Reasons. Now, keep in mind that you'll need to allow the phone to download from unknown sources. Once you've downloaded the app, a message will appear here prompting you to enable downloads from the source. So check the box, open the app and grant all necessary permissions. And finally, to complete the setup, just enter the verification code that you receive via email once you've subscribed to one of their plans. And that's it, you've successfully installed mSpy on your Android device. Okay, so before we start going through the iOS installation, I need to tell you guys that in order to access mSpy's full range of features, you will need to jailbreak your iOS device and download the jailbreak version which can be risky and should be done by a professional. And if you still want to go ahead, but don't know how to do it, the MSPI team can jailbreak it for you and install the app remotely for an additional fee. Now, with that out of the way, the entire installation process is actually pretty simple. So once you log into your account on the MSPI page and choose a subscription plan, pick the iOS option, which will take you to an iCloud sync page. You then enter the target phone's iCloud login credentials and wait until you receive a 2FA authentication code on that device. And once you've entered the code, you need to wait for MSPI to finish loading the data onto your dashboard by syncing with the phone's iCloud backup. There you have it, folks. Now you know how to install MSPI and monitor WhatsApp conversations. Just remember to always use such software responsibly and legally, like I mentioned twice before, such as for parental control or monitoring company devices with the express consent of all your users. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to try MSPY, you can use the affiliate link down in the description below. It doesn't cost you anything and you get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to their website. And as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts and I'll try to get back to any questions or comments you leave down below as fast as I can. And finally, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.